everybody, Julie the Whippy Chick here again. And today I'm going to show you how to make these fabulous, adorable, so cute little African flower hexagons. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the coral by making my magic ring. Now, if you don't know how to make a magic ring, no worries, there's a tutorial for that. There's probably six million tutorials for that actually. Um, but I'll leave you the link for mine. So I've made my magic ring and now I'm going to chain up three. So here's one, two, and three. From there, I'm going to do another double crochet because this chain three is going to count as a double crochet. So now I'm going to do a double crochet into my magic ring. I'm holding my hook all goofy. I don't know why I'm doing that. Okay, I did that as slowly as I could. Um, so basically with my chain three here and my double crochet, I've got my first petal done. See, first petal. So obviously I'm gonna to have to do that five more times so that I can make six. But in between each of these petals, I'm going to do a chain one so that we have some space to build into on the next round. So there's my chain one, double crochet, and another double crochet. Now, if you feel that your ring is getting a little bit out of control, go ahead and cinch it up a little bit. Make it a little smaller. I like to keep mine a little bit smaller when I'm working into it. I don't know, somehow it just feels like it gets away from me. So, oh, let's get some more yarn out of this cake here. Okay, so we're going to chain one again and we're going to work two more double crochets into my ring here. There's one. Here's two. So that's my third cluster of two. Okay, so you've got one, two, three. Chain one. Work two more. One, here's two. Chain one, work two more. One, and two. Let's see, I think I've lost count here. <laughs> There's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I need to do one more cluster of two. So here's my chain one. One double crochet and two double crochet. And you probably already guessed that I'm using American terms. I always forget to put out that disclaimer. Okay, and I'm going to do one more chain and then I'm going to join at the top of my chain three with a slip stitch. So if you look, here's my chain. I've got one, two, three stitches in that chain. I'm going to join at the top. There we go. Okay, slip that stitch through there. Come on, you being stubborn. And I'm actually going to snip my yarn right there and pull that through because I'm actually done with that color. I'm going to cinch up my magic ring. Nice and tight there. And then you can see my clusters with the little chain spaces in between. All right. I'm going to take a little break here and make sure that all of that is in frame. <laughs> 
Now I did uh, weave in my ends already. Um, it's just easier for me to show you what we're looking at when I don't have a bunch of little ends sticking out. So feel free to go ahead and do that if it, if it makes things easier for you. It definitely makes things easier for me. So, alrighty, I'm going to go with white for my next color. And we are going to go on to round two. So round two, we are basically working two double crochets into the chain one space, and then we're chaining one and working two more double crochets into that same space. And that's all there is to it. It's very, very simple pattern to follow. So let's get started here. I make a slip stitch and I put that on my hook, tighten it up a little bit. I'm going to insert my hook right into a chain one space and use a slip stitch to anchor it. Okay, so now I'm all anchored down. I'm going to chain up three and that's going to count as one of my double crochets. Okay, one, two, Three. So that counts as my first double crochet. I'm going to put another double crochet right in that same space. Chain one. And another double crochet into that same exact space. There's one. And there's two. That's what each one is going to look like. And that's this part right here. From there, I'm gonna go directly into my next chain one space. I'm not going to chain one or anything as I go in there. I'm just gonna go right into there for the double crochet. And then another double crochet. Chain one double crochet, double crochet, and that's another one done. Now because this is a hexagon, we are going to do this six times. Okay, I'm going to do it again into this chain one space. Double crochet, oops, Double crochet, chain one, double crochet, double crochet. I think you've got that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and complete this round and I will meet you at the end of the round where we'll join our stitches together. Okay. I'll see you in a minute. Go ahead and pause the video. Okay, so I made it all the way around and now I'm going to join this last stitch with our first one, which is of course at the top of our chain three space. And uh, I hate chaining, or I'm sorry, I hate joining up at the top of the chain. It's always so fiddly. Okay, so you can really see the hexagon is starting to take shape now. You can see the definite sides and the definite corners to this. So the next round we're going to work is this one. And the nice thing about this round is that we do not have to change color. We're going to stay the same color and that's gonna give us the tops of our flower petals. We're going to be doing seven double crochets into each one of these chain one spaces, okay? Now, we are not at a chain one space unless we were to flip over and go backwards, which we don't wanna do. We wanna keep all of this on the right side. So in order for us to get 
our working yarn over to this chain one space. We have to do a few slip stitches to get there. It's kind of a little bit of a way to leapfrog. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my hook right here into this little stitch and just slip stitch my way through it. I'm going to do it one more time. Come on. There we go. And now you see I'm at the chain one space. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and chain up three. I'm going to try to do my chain a little looser so that when I get to that spot where I have to join, maybe it'll be a little easier. Okay. So there's my first double crochet. That's going to count as my first double crochet. So I need to put in six more double crochets into that space. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So those six plus the chain one makes seven altogether. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. See how we did that? Now in between these seven and the next group of seven, I am not going to chain one or anything like that. I'm just going to hop right over there with a double crochet. And I'm going to do seven in that space. So there's one. This makes two. Oops. Three. Four. Five, six, and seven. And we're going to continue to do this in each chain one space all the way around. Okay? I will meet you at the end of this round and we'll go ahead and join at the top. Okay, so here we are. Back at the beginning, I've gone all the way around and now I need to join this last petal to this first petal. So I'm going to do that with a slip stitch at the top of the chain three. There we go. And from there, I'm going to tie off because now we're going to chain color and we're going to do this round. Now we're going to join on with our blue. And I'm actually going to join somewhere in the petal. It doesn't have to be any particular stitch in the petal, but I don't really want to join into this chain one space because we're going to be doing something a little special there and it's easier to not join in on that spot. So I'm going to make my slip stitch, insert my hook, tighten it up a little bit, pick any stitch I want. I think I'll just pick this one right here. I'm going to pull that through. And since I'm going to be working and single crochet stitches. I'm just going to treat this like a single crochet. That will anchor it just fine. And I can, whoops, I can get started from there. Thank goodness. Okay, here we go. So we are going to just do a single crochet in the tops of each of these double crochet stitches. 
And then when we get to this last space here, where there's this space, we're going to do a double crochet. But I'll show you more about that when we get there. So here's our first single crochet. Our second, actually, second, second single crochet. And here's our third along the tops of these. Here's another chain one, so we've got another one here. Okay, so we've got chain one spaces, and now we're going to do a double crochet. And we're actually not going to do that here. We're going to take it all the way down to the bottom. So we're almost kissing the coral here with our, our hook. We're going to go all the way down. And we're going to treat it just like any other double crochet, but we might want to give it a little bit more working yarn. Okay, and that's what gives it that nice separation between the petals. So then we're going to kind of move this over to the side so we can find the top of our, our previous double crochet there. So there's the top of that stitch. So we're going to single crochet into that. Single crochet into all of the tops of the double crochets. Okay, that brings us all the way over the top of that petal. And now we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to do that double crochet. So yarn over all the way down to the bottom, pull up your loop, and work your double crochet just like you normally would. Okay, pull it over to the side a little bit just to make sure that you can get to the top of that next double crochet because sometimes they kind of hide under there. Okay, so here we go again. Single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. Could turn this into a song. Single crochet. And now we're going to do our double crochet all the way down. Pull up a loop. Isn't it so pretty? I just love the African flower. So pretty. Okay, so I think you've got it. Um, I'm going to go all the way around and I'll meet you at that last stitch and you can watch me struggle <laughs> to do my slip stitch. I really need to loosen up my tension. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I worked my way all the way around and now I'm just going to slip stitch here the top of my first single crochet to finish this round. Where is my working yarn? Where did you go? Oh, there it is. Let's pull that through. There we go. Excellent. We can snip that yarn and pull it through. This is what I was saying earlier about all the ends. When you do a lot of color changes, you have a lot of ends and sometimes it just gets tedious, but they're always in the way. So we have just the one round left and it's very simple. It's just single crochets all the way around on the tops of all of these stitches with the exception of this stitch right in the middle of the, the, the seven petal stitches. Um, so it'd be number four. And in that space, we actually create the corners. Um, and it's actually hard to see because it's so small. But if you wanted to make your hexagon bigger, you would, you would need a little bit of that uh, base to work off of. So I'm going to change over to yellow and we will go from there. So I'm gonna make my slip stitch just like I have with the beginning of every color change. Insert my hook, 
tighten it up just a little bit. And I can really join in anywhere. It doesn't really matter where I join in as long as when I get to the fourth stitch in the petal, as long as I do my corner. So I'm just gonna, let's see, I think I'll just start at the bottom of one of the petals. That might make it easy. So here's the first double crochet. Well, it's actually a single crochet, but it's at the top of one of those double crochets in the petal. So this is the first one. So I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna just do a single crochet there because this row is all single crochet. So single crochet, there's one. Oops. Two, three, and four. I'm at the top. So I'm going to now chain one and single crochet right back into that same stitch. And then I'm going to work single crochets until I get to that fourth stitch on the next petal. So single crochet single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, working our way with the single crochet. I'm telling you, there's a song there somewhere. <laughs> I don't think I'm the one to write it. Okay, so now if we look at our flower petal. We're going to see one, two, three. Here's the fourth one, so up here. Okay, so we've got one more single crochet to go. And now we're going to do a single crochet, chain one, and a single crochet. Oh, I just found a dog hair. Willy, 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 Willy the dog. His hair gets everywhere. Okay, so now we're just going to continue our single crochets all the way until we get to that fourth stitch on the next petal. three, four. So it's going to be this stitch up here. One, two, three, four. Sometimes it looks like it's the next stitch over. So it's really important to count just to make sure you have the right number. Oops, I did a double crochet. Did anybody see that? Did anybody see me do that? <laughs> Let's fix that. Single crochet, chain one, single crochet. Okay. Let's just work our way around here. We have to speed up this footage for you. It's not chaining single crochet, crochet, crochet is probably not too exciting. I think Willie's must have gotten hold of this ball of yarn. I keep finding little Willie hair in it. He's worse than a cat. I hate a hair vest. Okay, one, two, three, four. So it's this one up here. Okay, so I'm just going to continue and I'll meet you at the end of this round. Okay, and here I am back at the very beginning. I'm going to join with a slip stitch. Snip my yarn and pull it through. Here we go. And there we have it, the African flower hexagon. Now, obviously, I've got a lot of ends that would need to be sewn in. 
one more woolly dog hair. <laughs> but I just love these. I think they are so cute. And if you made about a gajillion of them and joined them together, they would all fit. And you could make little blankets or cushions or bags. There's so many different things you can do with little motifs like this. So, 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 so cute. I just love them. So I wanted to um, put a, a shout out, I guess you would call it a shout out to Anne. She was, um, she's one of my subscribers and she left me the sweetest note today. Um, and she's from South Africa and, and it totally inspired me to do a tutorial on the African flower. So thank you very much, Anne. You're an inspiration and you didn't even realize it. <laughs> So I, I just loved, loved um, hearing from her today. And I hope to hear from you too. So please go ahead and leave me a comment down below. That'd be fabulous. I love to hear from people who watch my, my videos. Um, that's the whole reason I do it, really. I just want to, um, to make those connections with people all over the world. So yeah, leave me a comment. And I'll see you next time. Be safe, everybody. <laughs>